hello welcome back to my channel if you are new on this channel you are highly welcome and this is cuisine to Monda, the only channel where we excite your taste but before i get into today's video if you have been watching my videos and you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for just tell me what you're waiting for if you want me to do something before you subscribe just tell me and i'll do it for you okay all right so let's get into today's video today i'm going to show you guys how i made my ababitadi or in English we'll say anchovies stew so let's get right into it uh, um, to my pot I'm going to add in my palm oil and to that I added my onions to give our oil some flavor to fry our anchovies now after two minutes into frying I'm going to turn it over for the other side to also fry for about two minutes Two minutes into frying I'm now going to make sure we have everything well um, fried so I'm going to leave it in the oil to fry for another two minutes and after two minutes I realized everything is well fried evenly fried so I'm going to take them out of the oil and then we can begin our stew Now to start our stew, in the same pan I'm going to add in a little bit of palm oil or red oil. To that I'll add my uh, momone or stinky fish and then my sliced onions. I am going to allow these to fly. Uh, hey, did I say fly? I mean I'm going to allow uh, these to fry till I can perceive uh, the aroma. <laughs> Immediately I started perceiving the aroma, I added my tomato mix and in this tomato mix I have my tomatoes, pepper and onion. I'm going to add them to my oil and then mix till everything is well mixed and then allow it to simmer. And mind you, before I started making my stew, I already had my tolo beef or my salted beef on the side pub boiling to take some of the salt out of the um, tolo beef, okay? And so at this point, our stew has simmered for about three to four minutes. I am going to season it with my mixed ginger and uh, my, sorry, my blended ginger and garlic and then also added my um, shrimp cube. I'm going to stir and make sure everything is well mixed and I am not going to add any salt because I will be adding my tolo beef or my um, salted beef. I will then add it to it for it to release its salt content into the stew. Okay. Even though I have parboiled my beef, I am, it still has a little bit of salt in it. So I'm going to allow it to simmer in the stew to release its um, salt content, okay? And then right after that, I tasted and realized my salt content is perfect. I went ahead to um, add my fried anchovies or my abobi to the stew. I mixed and made sure everything is well mixed and incorporated. Now, there's this thing I forgot to tell you from the beginning. While I was washing my abobi, always wash your abobi till your water is clear. Um, I washed with salt, okay? And um, this is something you can't avoid. If you wash with salt, it's going to avoid your mouth from itching when you are eating it. So always remember to wash your abobi with salt. It has um, sand content in it because of the way it is preserved or made. So always remember to um, wash your abobi about three to four times or probably five times before you fry them, okay? So at this point, um, after adding my abobi, my stew is almost done so you know how on this channel we don't play with our flavors so i added some uh, and some um, sliced onions 
I'm going to allow this simmer for about just two minutes and our abobi stew is done guys it's as easy as ABC <laughs> our stew is done and what else do you guys want me to do on this channel for you just leave your answers in the comment section and I'll read everything okay and guys if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and always remember in a world where you can be anything be kind thank you so so much for watching bye and oh yeah what else do you think i will pair it with i paired it with what about and i really enjoyed it so if you want anything different from what you usually have in your home just add this to your menu okay see you all bye